Which mid dive top combo, which Corky won't be able to respond to. And we're in an interesting position for G2 Esports. That might just be a Renekton mid. Yeah. They needed a source of reliable magic damage, something that could shred through tanks, and in this case, Gwen does fit the bill, because while Misfits were mostly magic damage, G2 were mostly physical. <laughs> it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> I remember very little, but I remember oh, it was not back. very there good. Go. Okay, there. there we go. This Renekton. makes a lot more sense to put the Renekton mid, of course. But does it? Like, I... Yeah, I think the Misfits... I'll hold my breath for a second as Mercy. I was trying to blast go and target my nope, two <laughs> charges! Spider-Man and Mumu there. I think what Misfits realized is they're gonna invade top side with Gwen Wukong and we're gonna lose our blues. So let's invade their bot side just Ooh, in case. Target cannot mass. go bot lane. One, two, three, three, four. Glacier Lord He's running the PTA, he's running ah. Ignite on Renekton. He wants to get early kills and we expected it to be around Herald, but they want to screw up sure. this top side 3v3. Winning top, pushing mid. Mumu is such a funny champion. <laughs> and he's a teapot. He's <laughs> scaring away Ooh. the giant crocodile and the monkey, and you can see Wait, why. Stunts from big range, Caps getting burned down, ticking Ignite, burning, walking away, but he will Ooh. survive. Blue. So all of these small things that G2 needed to go perfectly in the early game did not go very well. Relevant fighting in the creep wave. This could be very bad for Broken Blade, but Yankos is on the way out for Relevant. Over Oh, but he's gonna get the kill! Yes. Yeah. Broken Blade's on the way down. Sanzaro, no flash. They might just single out the Sejuani here who has uh -oh. a Blast Cone. He's gonna see Broken Blade now. He's gonna Ooh, Blast Cone over. over the wall. Broken Blade went Whoops. over the wall already. He can kill away as well here. Swap here. King is waiting to the enemy jungle. Sanzaro doesn't have flat. Uh, smite, rather. Mercer now running. He is a little teapot, but Caps is a level 5 Renekton, and that's gonna be more than enough to Caps shatter him. Porcelain about to break, but no. The threat to some kind of dive onto Flakid. Zone him away from these waves, but Caps is quick to match. Black is trying to block the Q here for Zanzara. Zanzara gonna it. make it out over the wall. Then they can use the Herald, open up the tower, open up the map to start snowballing the game. Let's see if they can pull it off. Irrelevant yeah, needs to stop the wave. Blade. He needs to stop the wave from crashing. He might have to ult the wave here if he spots G2. Sees Caps now. He tries to ult, it might be too late. They've got more than enough CC to stop him. Flashing away, looking for an opportunity to knock him back, but he will not get it. Irrelevant out from under the tower as well. It's an absolute disaster. They're gonna get a lot of gold on that top tower themselves, but detail's Keeping roaming in, down. Trying to lock a black and black and now cleansing. Mercer waiting on the ulti, they're leaping away. Caps is here and Caps is massive. Mercer trying to buy as much space as possible. Has the Glacial Log, to try to get something done, but Mercer just getting shredded. Neon in trouble, flashing over the wall. VT off to the side, Caps hungry for a bit more blood. And it looks like it might just be a Zeri oh, moment, not a champion. You can lock down. Cover this dive. VT got 160 on that plate there, but it's just Zanzar in between towers. Stinks, oh, it's 2v3, let's dive. All of a sudden, Caps appears out of nowhere. He flashes away, but Mercer doesn't have a flash of his own, so he gets singled out as a target tries to peel for his team. VTO is a bit slow to the play while stacking up and crashing midwaves, and it's Flakid who comes out with a couple kills. And you can see Zanzara and Neon actually a little bit indecisive there because Vito's on his way. They're saying, we have four num uh, members. We can make a numbers advantage. That's a really big ultimate. But because they hesitated, that means that they had no room to escape. That means that G2 can... But they've already abandoned him. They said, there's nothing we can do. Poor little teapot. No. So Where very fragile. Friends? He can't even burn any cooldowns. He just knows he has to accept his fate. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map, Broken Blade being forced away. Ghost now used. Now, Neon has arrived. The wave clear is here. Caps goes in. Caps. Potentially going to get locked down here. The follow-up on the Ord ultimate. They're going to try to move. They're going to try to sidestep. Caps flashing away. Now using the ult. They're looking to turn back in. Yanko's instantly into the backside. Neon flashing out to safety. Mercer waiting. Holding onto the ult as long as possible. But he will use it now to lock on Caps. VTO off to the side. But G2 pressing their advantage. G2 looking for more. G2 to tearing through Misfits. Yanko's going in. They're trading tower aggro left and right. They take down the inhibitor tower. VTO, the last source of damage. Neon finding a kill back and G2 breaking into the base of Misfits. They're gonna have to back away though. Three kills is nice. They can't get this inhibitor. It's too early in the game and G2 are uh, Misfits are respawning too fast. Neon is gonna heal up on the fountain. Misfits lost four flashes in that fight. Ready to be engaged, but VTO slowly getting further and further ahead, building towards something like a Guardian Angel. Yanko's again fishing for an engage, pushing Zara and Zara out of his own jungle. Poking left and right, BTO. using the ult. BTO off to the side. He needs to turn here on the Caps. Power's Claw already used. Caps getting chunked so incredibly yes, low. Out. TPing out now. Flacking to try to do as much damage as he can, but he's just fishing. They're looking for an opportunity. Can oh, he's out. No! Just barely escaping. And in the meantime, the Dragon has now already been started by Misfits. A brief moment of chaos maybe going to be enough. But Neon now caught out by Broken Blade. The rest of the team on the way. Mercer ready to step forward at a moment's notice. The, the Mist already used now. Moving out to safety. The Ornal from downtown. Maybe, just maybe they can take down Broken Blade. But that is going to be so difficult. The Gwen, incredibly powerful. Hurt. Maybe. No, Broken Blade buying so much time, it is G2 on the Baron, as you highlighted, Cage, the ones who can find the advantage. It's a split map, it's a split fight, it's absolute chaos. VTO moving in, moving back onto the map. Yankos now looking for the fight, looking for a bit more, and there's oh. the package! But VTO, VTO caught out, locked up mid-air! VTO gonna get taken down, there's just no way. There's nothing he can do, he's got the W up, he tries to leap out to safety, but G2 just dissecting Misfits, it's absolute chaos, but chaos is where G2 thrives. 
here. Thanks, Al. Yes, sorry. So, wow. Let me see how surprised I was by that resolve. Anyway, <laughs> Blacken pushing forward, and I think this might oh just be God. it. G2 are too strong. Yeah, their siege isn't great, but if they play on this many lanes, it's just easy for them to start to break down these towers. Versa, the little teapot that could, just trying to find an engage, trying to find an opportunity. They're throwing everything they have at G2, but it's Ooh. scattered. It's chaos. Oh, no. Misfits, they needed coordination. They needed team play. VG with the Rockets maybe can do enough to slow this down, but all of the ulties going wide is not what Misfits needed. So G2 can look for a dive. I mean, they're coming in one by one. Yankos yeah, oh. sees an opportunity, hits both the carries, and immediately they get into the Good back night. line. The final march for G2 as they barrel down the bottom lane, as they move into mid, Misfits know it is done. G2 have secured their spot in the top three. They have secured a place in Malma. They will face Rogue to see who will stand the top of the bracket as we head into the LEC finals. Definitely showcased a lot. I think that Neon in particular really stood out today. He's obviously had a great split. But when they go up in their next matchup next week, this is definitely going to be a team that you have to keep your eyes on. Certainly will.